you know, with black people, we always use music to empower us. And lately it's been gospel, but I believe we need to go back to the African spirituals. You know, we gotta go back to our Negro spirituals about freedom. And the reason we stopped singing them is because we thought we was free. And we didn't even know what they freedom songs meant. We thought they was religious songs and they wasn't. They was cold songs about getting free. So, you know, it's a couple of us who came up with this song that basically since we got a whole, this is a black, this should be a black space, that's how I feel, because this happened to black students and we need to heal. And because this is the way that we heal, we really wanted to spit this song to y'all and we wanted y'all to just come on. And if y'all, you know, as y'all get the words, we just sing this thing, man. And we actually live in our spiritual selves and we empower ourselves through doing something by lifting our spirits. Not coming just to talk about it and keeping our spirits where they work, but actually uplifting them. What you gonna do to uplift yourself from this, man? What we gonna do moving forward? This is what we gonna do. It's freedom time. Let's get free. Breaking the chains that's going in me. Ain't got time, no space to breathe. Ain't no words that's left to speak. Come on, clap. It's freedom time, let's get free. Breaking the chains that's holding me. Why do we have to explain ourselves? And I feel like that's something that we ask ourselves every day. We wake up, we go to class, and when we say something racist, we want to explain ourselves. We want to explain where we came from. We want to prove that that's not who we are. We're not that ghetto black girl, and right. we're not this way, and we're not that way, and we didn't come from the hood. We didn't come from the same place that everybody says that we come from. And even if we did come from the hood, we made it out. Yeah. And we're still intelligent, and we're still great people. Yeah. And it's really sad that we have to tell people that. Because when a black man, when he grows up and he hits puberty, his father gives him a talk. And it's not the talk that you think it of. It's not about the birds and the bees. It's not about that. It's the talk he gives him about when you see a police officer. When you get pulled over in your car, you have a police officer come to your window. That's the talk he's talking about. Because as a black man, you have to realize that you aren't going to be treated similarly to anyone else. From the get-go, you are looked at as beneath. From the get-go, you are looked at as a future criminal, a future statistic. To deal with prejudice or racism was here at this campus. So me and my friends decided that we wanted to go to a party, a fraternity party. They had us waiting out there for over 15 to 20 minutes while other girls got to go up there and got to like go into their party. And then I overhear a drunk girl, a drunk white girl who said that, what are all these N-words doing here? Now look, I never, I have never, like, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do in that situation. I couldn't say anything. Cause, and when I think back at the situation, I'm like, oh, well, you know, if this happened to me again, I would have said something. But I can't say that because I wouldn't have. I mean, I never put, been put in that kind of situation in my life, in my entire life. So I wouldn't know what to do. And then she's at home. And I'm like, I don't want to be at home. This is happening in Michigan. I paid too much money to be here. Just leave me home. And I'm here because I stand with the zoo. When. Thank you, time. When I knew there was a hunger strike and he was saying that he's not, is it going to be he dies or he, or the president steps down? I didn't think he was going to step down. And I didn't think it was going to happen. And then when the football team said that they stood together and the community came together, and this president stepped down, Mizzou gave me hope. They gave me hope that one day we won't have to go to this anymore. And so I stand with them because I know. I told my friend I'll pay for it. I'm gonna pay for it every day. So everything is over. Yeah, I'm loud. <laughs> We're here today to sit in solidarity for everybody else in this world. Like this is not just a campus thing. This is not just a Mizzou thing. This is something that happens on this campus. This happens on every campus. This happens everywhere. We have injustice going on and nobody wants to open their eyes to it. White people don't have to say, well, I don't shoot people. They never have to say that. 
they never have to explain anything that another white person does. They don't have to say, I'm not a part of the KKK. But we have to say that we're not a part of gangs. I'm in a sorority, and I have to say that I'm not in a gang because I'm wearing blue. I'm not a crip. I'm in a sorority that does community conscious things. And I think that this is all really crazy that we have to always, always, always explain ourselves. We have to explain our hair, our choices, our colors, like our personalities. We have to explain what people of color means. We have to explain our experiences, our walks of life. And that's just unacceptable. And I'm really happy that people are coming together to do something about it. I got people around me asking why I decided to go to a predominantly white institution instead of a historically black college every single day. I'm sure the people over at the University of Michigan, that, I mean, University of Missouri, that look just like me get asked that question every single day. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being here at Michigan because I know that being here is going to make a difference. I know that being here, I'm going to grab my education just like everybody else. I'm going to make something myself so that my children and the people around me don't have to deal with this shit anymore. So I spend my time and my energy affirming my black brothers and sisters and my black people out here. So I want to take this time, I'd like all my black people in the crowd to take your hand and put it on your heart. And I'd like you to just repeat after me. I am love. I am love. I am light. I am light. I am gold. I am gold. I am boundless. I am boundless. I am immense. I am immense. I am peace. I am peace. I deserve to be here. I deserve to be here. This is mine. This is mine. This is all mine. This is all mine. Thank you, y'all. You gotta affirm each other because nobody else got it. That's only me. Ain't got no time.